white lie. When someone says that they told a white lie, they mean that they lied, weren't honest, deceived about something small, in order not to hurt someone's feelings. I didn't feel like going to dinner with her tonight, so I just told her the white lie that I was working overtime. You might be telling your roommate about a sensitive friend? Maybe you just got a new haircut and your friend hesitates but says it looks nice anyway. You don't have to tell me a white lie. I'm not happy with my haircut anyway. You have to tell a white lie sometimes, dear. Always say that people's babies are cute. You might be whispering to your seven-year-old daughter after she said someone's baby was ugly. As you can see, a white lie is a trivial, minor, trifling untruth meant to be tactful, diplomatic, sensitive, and is usually well-intentioned. The origin of the idiom white lie is traced back to the 14th century by the Oxford English Dictionary and was attached to lie because white meant pure, good, innocent, harmless, as opposed to black, which was associated with evil, bad, sinful, harmful. Various cultures associate colors differently, of course. The Americas and Europe associate white with purity and peace, and it is often used in weddings. While white is associated with death, mourning, unhappiness, and misfortune in Asia, where it is used at funerals. While in the Middle East, white carries both meanings and is also associated with high status. Some people believe that it is never acceptable to lie, so even a well-intentioned white lie is unacceptable. Lying is not simply speaking, uttering a falsehood, however. It also includes not revealing the whole truth and mixing the truth with lies. So, while the proverb, honesty is the best policy, may seem like a noble, moral, upstanding, virtuous, righteous, good ideal to live by. Life is not so simple, and it is up to you to make the best decision you can, given your knowledge and the circumstances. White lies often spare people's feelings, make people feel good, get you out of a sticky situation, or smooth things over. White lies may also be useful because your opinion about things changes over time, and perhaps that little white lie you told has actually become the truth. I didn't want to discourage him, so I told the white lie that his new job was fantastic 
and it turns out that it actually is fantastic. You might be discussing your husband's new job with a friend. Maybe your child helps you with something, making it more difficult. But you tell a white lie. Thank you so much for your help, honey. I couldn't have done it without you. Please tell me the truth. No white lies, please. You might be asking the opinion of your cousin, who always says nice things. So, the next time you want to be polite, gracious, diplomatic, delicate, or sensitive, don't forget to tell a white lie.